in this session we are going to implement the same expression in one address instruction format i told you this one earlier also always we should keep this one in our aim that we should we will be writing our program with minimum number of instructions and minimum number of distinct registers i shall be using reusing my registers in my program as when required so this is the expression i shall be writing the one address instruction format for it my opinion is that in this case always start with the denominator so now calculate this total expressions value in a certain register and then keep it into a temporary variable then go on computing with the numerator and then after getting full value in a certain register you just go for div with the temporary value temporary variable so in this way the instruction will require lesser number of so let me show you the code at first that will clear up your doubts so i shall be starting from this in case of one at this instruction always we are keeping this one in our mind that one of the registers one of the operands will be kept will be kept in the register that is accumulator in our one address instruction format always we are keeping this one in our mind that one of the operands will be kept in the register accumulator so that is mandatory so now i'm going for this how to write the code see i'm going for load load e that means accumulator is getting initialized with the memory content of the variable e now mal so mal f so accumulator is getting initialized by the product of accumulator's previous content and content against the variable f now e and f the product is now residing in the accumulator so let me put it in some temporary register so store t so t is containing e star f now i shall be loading this d so load d so accumulator is getting initialized with the memory content against the variable d okay right now i have kept this one in t right now so load d now go for sub go for sub so sub we are having this t so accumulator is getting initialized with d minus e star f now i shall store it to t so memory content for the variable t i should write so memory content for the variable t is getting initialized by the current content of the accumulator by the current content of the accumulator so i i can write in this way and accumulator is containing this accumulator is also containing this good store t so so this particular sub t so it has been kept in t it has been kept in t now load g mal h so accumulator is getting initialized with this uh, g and then accumulator is getting initialized with the accumulator's content and memory content for the variable h very simple you see i've kept this one here so now we are having everything in t we are having everything in accumulator now go for add go for add t so what is happening t is containing so this is accumulator so accumulator is equal to accumulator plus memory content for the variable t so everything is now in the accumulator full denominator is now in the accumulator 
so now i'm just storing it back to t so now memory content for the variable t will get initialized by the accumulator's content what is the content content is nothing but d minus e star f plus g star h so that is the full content it is getting dumped i could have also written m of t is equal to accumulator so that is another step but i'm showing you that full content was in the accumulator has been stored in t now let me do this one so i shall go for load b so accumulator is getting initialized with the memory content for the variable b these are the comments only now i shall go for this h sorry i will go for this c so mal c so accumulator is equal to accumulator into memory content for the variable c so now b and c have got multiplied and it has been kept in accumulator now a has to be added so add a so accumulator is equal to accumulator plus memory content for the variable a so now you see the full content the full content is now in the accumulator and here this full content was in t so now what should i do i should go for div so div t that's why i started with the denominator so now div t so accumulator is equal to accumulator and then what should i go by memory content for the variable t but the result should be kept in x so i shall go for store x so memory content what the variable x will get initialized with the accumulator and accumulated is containing the full expression value so in this way the same expression i could re express in one at this instruction format please apply this concept and conception here in this given practice expressions okay so now we shall go for the next video for the zero at this instruction on the same expression thank you